Over the course of my last couple of projects, my fortress has grown increasingly chaotic. Between the completely accidental flooding of the Beak Dog Puck slowing the game down, and the unexpected Forgotten Beast Rampage and Dwarven Bridge Drops causing widespread trauma to the dwarf population, there has been a lot going on, and so I wanted to take a little break. So I started up a new fortress, and moved into a territory split 50-50 between normal and terrifying surroundings where it rained abhorrent muck nearly constantly. I didn't have a plan for the fortress, but figured it was Dwarf Fortress, so something weird was bound to happen sooner or later. And sooner it was, because about an hour into the game, I received a notification that one of my dwarves had turned back into a dwarf. I thought that was odd, because I didn't know he had the ability to be anything else. But sure enough, the announcements told me that he had briefly transformed into a wear monitor. Side note, in Dwarf Fortress there are many different kinds of were reptiles, including were monitors, were chameleons, were geckos, as well as generic were lizards. If you don't know what a monitor lizard is, think of a Komodo dragon. But for simplicity's sake, I will be referring to any were monitors in this video as were lizards. Taxonomy be damned. Luckily for everyone, he seemed to have been preoccupied with sleeping during his transformation, and had slept through the rage and bloodlust of becoming a were beast in his little bedroom. I made his door impassable and forbidden to pets, so that he couldn't just transform into a lizard and slither his way out, and thought of what I needed to do with him. In the past, I've usually just exiled anyone that's been bitten, but with a new fortress it felt like an opportunity to try out some new ideas. So I read the Dwarf Fortress wiki article on werebeasts. The section on creating a werebeast military interested me, and it seemed somewhat easier to manage than turning the entire fortress into were lizards. My first strategy to infect my dwarves with were lizard syndrome was to put them in a room with the original were lizard, cover the floor with traps, and lock them off from the rest of the fortress when it was getting close to a full moon. This method was recommended on the wiki, and it works well because dwarves don't get caught in cage traps unless they're unconscious. And so, in an ideal world, what would happen would be that the were lizard would bite them, they would get knocked out, and then they would get trapped in a cage where the were lizard couldn't hurt them anymore. Then, when the whale lizard turned back into a dwarf, I could unlock the room and easily transport my newly infected dwarves into some cells. As long as they didn't die within the first month, their transformation into a whale lizard would heal their wounds and they would be as good as new. While it all sounded great in theory, my actual experience with the trap chamber ended up being way more troublesome. When attempting to seal the room off from the fortress with a bridge, the whale lizard decided to stand on the bridge when it flipped up and was immediately knocked out and thrown into a cage. When I did successfully seal them away, the whale lizard did infect one of them, but also immediately killed the other. And then, after my whale lizard turned back into a dwarf, I sent some new dwarves into the transformation chamber, but apparently the whale lizard rage had not yet receded, because he immediately started throwing punches at all the new dwarves and got himself knocked out and locked in a cage again. After freeing my whale lizard from a cage a second time, I decided to take a more brute force approach to infecting my dwarves, and just let him roam free during the next full moon. He got himself killed by a crowd of dwarves and a kitten that landed the finishing blow, but he infected six of them in the process. I dug out a series of rooms to hold my new were lizard recruits, and assigned each of them to their own squad, because the wiki told me that they wouldn't play nice with one another. When the rooms were dug, I sent all of them to be stationed in their individual rooms, and when they went inside, declared the doors impassable. The wiki said that this shouldn't work, but maybe they can't figure out how to turn the knob with their weird lizard hands, because it worked fine for me. With my were lizards trapped, it was time for me to pick a target to test them out on, but timing out enemies being around at the same time as a full moon, without being too far away from my were lizards, sounded a little difficult. So I decided that the easiest trial run would be to wait for an elven caravan to arrive, position my dwarves around the trade depot while in dwarf form, and then see what happened when the full moon rose. And so that's what I did. I don't know what the elves were thinking when they arrived at the trade depot, only to be met by seven dwarves surrounding it. Knowing their opinions on dwarves, they probably weren't big fans. Hell, maybe they thought it was an improvement when they all transformed into half-dwarf, half-lizard creatures. They do like nature, after all. That opinion probably didn't hold for too long, though, because two unarmed elves against seven were-lizards was never going to be a fair fight, and they were killed pretty quickly. Based on what the wiki said, I thought my were-lizards were immediately going to turn to infighting afterwards, but they mostly just hung around. That is, until they turned back to dwarves. Then, through some misplaced sense of rage, or guilt, or maybe justice, they turned on one another until only two remained. But two is plenty. There will always be more migrants, more dwarves to infect. As long as I have one, I can have all the were lizards I want. So elven caravans beware. If your arrival happens to sync up with a full moon, you should consider yourselves already dead. Thanks for watching.